Welcome folks to tonight's game between Tri-City Crusaders and the Providence Christian Academy Eagles. Scratch that and let's make it the Tigers. Providence, Providence Christian Academy Tigers and their foe tonight, Tri-City Christian Crusaders. Providence coming into tonight's game with an impressive win over the weekend in the tournament at John Brown University in Salem Springs, Arkansas. They come away with three victories in that weekend tournament. Uh, one Thursday night and Friday night and then a double overtime victory on Saturday night against Kansas City Christian. One of their foes here, one of their two losses this year coming against Kansas City Christian at home a couple of weeks ago and so that was sweet victory uh, against Kansas City Christian on Saturday night. Tonight's game between the Crusaders was preceded by halftime, uh, rather the end of the girls game ceremonies, honoring the senior boys and girls varsity basketball games and also the senior cheerleaders. Tri-City. Yeah, he is. <laughs> tonight, tonight uh, on uh, color commentary with me tonight is uh, Jack Bennett, and Jack and I are going to be calling some of the play-by-play -play action this evening, and I think you're going to enjoy this game. Tri-City has always had a um, real tough team, and uh, we're looking forward to a tough game tonight. What do you think about it, Jack? Well, I don't know if the fans could hear, uh, the number the band played just before that was the Mickey Mouse theme, and I, I wonder if there's not some significance in that. Okay, we'll, we'll think about that as we go along. Tri-City, one of the uh, arch rivals of Providence, and uh, through the years has been a, a real contender in the championships of the uh, Kansas City area and Christian schools, and uh, Providence with probably their strongest team in a number of years, uh, Racking up a number of victories this year and uh, with only a, a loss to Kansas City Christian a couple of weeks ago, as we mentioned, and then a, a loss the first game of the season to uh, uh, Maranatha. So we're looking for... Uh, okay, the starting lineups being introduced right now, Matt Anderson. For Tri-City, a senior... Gerald Porter. Number 15 for Providence, Jim Ryan, senior. A junior for Tri-City, Scott Smith. For Providence, number 34 senior, Britt Batchelor. Number 24 for Tri-City, Jeff Brown, a sophomore. For Providence, number 10, Eric Schooley, a junior. Number 42 for Tri-City, David Shockley. Number 13, Mike Middleton, a senior. For, for Tri-City, a senior. John Faison. Stand now for the national anthem. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing. There we have the starting lineups for tonight's game, and joining me on the bench tonight is Jack Bennett. We'll be calling a play-by-play, -play and uh, we got a real exciting game coming up, I know, Jack, and uh, Providence coming off some real impressive victories in uh, uh, John Brown University Salem Springs tournament this week, and probably the sweetest of all was that victory against Kansas City Christian on Saturday night. Another one of the tough opponents Providence has in the Kansas City area is Tri-City, always an admirable opponent, and tonight I know the boys are going to be going at them full blast. 
Well, that's for sure. You know, Tri-City has always been, or, or is known, at least this year, for their uh, tenacious man-to-man -man defense. And uh, they've been working on the man-to-man uh, -man offense all week down to John Brown. Okay. Mike Middleton right off the bat uh, tips the ball. Jim Ryan has the ball and goes for a shot. And uh, Mike, uh, Mike's call for a foul on uh, the play there. So Mike picks up his first foul real early. Only five seconds gone in the game. Tri-City brings the ball down court. Number 32 up. Ball's up and it's good. Gerald Porter, a senior for Tri-City. That shot up at the line and came in. Ball's out to Mike Middleton. Jim Ryan comes down court. He puts one up, and it's in. Two points for Jim Ryan. Boys starting out real fast this evening. Both, both teams bringing the ball down court. Man-to-man -man pressure. Ball comes in. Shots up, and it's good. Britt Batchelor brings the ball in. Ball comes down court. Matt Anderson with the ball across the timeline. Offense sets up. Jim Ryan with the ball, feeds into Mike. Mike goes over two points. Mike shot that ball right over David Shockley's head that time. Had a nice, smooth shot. 4-4 tie here with a minute gone in the first quarter. Gerald Porter tied up there for a moment. And he, number 44, John Faison gets called for traveling. Britt Batchelor brings the ball in. Matt Anderson and a call, foul call on number 34, Scott Smith. Guarding Matt there gets called for the foul. Real heavy action right at the beginning of this game. Boys are loose, had some had some good playing time Ball stolen by Tri-City, Tri and uh, Eric gets called for kicking the ball. It'll be Tri-City's ball out of bounds. Number 24, Jeff Brown, sophomore, brings the ball in. Gerald Porter brings the ball across the line. The defense sets up. Porter drives the lane and balls up and rebounded Britt Batchelor. Eric Schooley brings the ball down. Over to Anderson, into Middleton, a good feed into Britt Batchelor. Britt's up and he's fouled on the play. Ball doesn't fall, but number 24, Jeff Brown picks up the foul on that. It's Jeff's first foul. Tri-City with their first sub, Matt Herbster comes in. Matt Herbster in the game. Mike Middleton with the shot up, and it's in! Matt, a nice turnaround jump shot. Ball, Matt, Matt, pick, Matt Anderson picks up the ball. Good steal, good steal. Holds up on it. Ball comes around the key. Back out to Ryan. Back to Anderson. Offense sets up. Britt's down under the basket, watching, waiting. Ryan with the ball. Middleton, look, feeds into Batchelor, Batchelor up! It's off. Eric Schooley comes up with a rebound, feeds in. Foul call on number 24, Jeff Brown again, bumping uh, Britt. Britt was right into the basket, ready for a layup on there. He got bumped. Providence with the ball again. Jim Ryan bringing the ball in. Ball goes to Mike, Mike up, it's short. Foul on David Shockley. David Shockley picks up his first foul. Number of fouls called here in the first two minutes of the game. Mike Middleton at the free throw line. The ball's up. It's off the rim. Two shot shooting foul, the second shot's up, and it's in. Mike Middleton. Right down the points there. Uh, Brett had two, Mike's got three. Who made the Somebody else had it. Tri 
Tri-City taking the ball out of bounds. Scott Smith. Number 14, Todd, Todd Childers in. Eric gets a leg in front of the ball and kicked out of bounds. It'll be Tri-City's ball. Providence defense sets up. Matt Anderson with a good. Matt Anderson with a good defense there. Preventing Tri-City from getting the ball in and uh, Providence will take the ball out of bounds. Eric Schooley going to the free throw line. Be shooting one shot. Ball's up and it's good. Eric, a smooth free throw shooter. Has to have probably one of the highest percentages of free throws on the team. Second shot's up and it's off the rim this time. Gerald Porter up with the ball and brings it down court across the timeline. Ball over, Porter in the lane and tied up. Ball rolls and Mike Middleton with the hand on the ball, but he catches his arm. Mike Middleton will pick up his second foul of the quarter. Jeff Lamb coming in for Mike. Mike taking a seat with two fouls on him. <clears throat> Gerald Porter will be shooting two from the line. First shot's up and off the rim. Yeah, it was. And Porter's got two. And uh... Porter, uh, second ball is up and it's good. Porter with three points. Jeff, Jim Ryan brings the ball down. Back out to Anderson. Uh, ball taken away by Tri-City. Porter will bring the ball down court. First turnover for Providence. Ball comes in, he feeds, jump shot, off. Shockley comes up with the rebound. And foul called against, I believe, Britt Bachelor picked that foul up. Yeah, <clears throat> foul on Brad Bachelor. Shockley going with two shots on this. Balls up and it's good. Providence with an 8-6 lead here with four minutes left. Shockley's second shot is up, and it's off the rim, and Lamb with a good rebound. Anderson comes up with it. Ryan brings the ball down court. Eric Schooley with the ball now. Feeds in to Ryan. He drives in. A good feed to Brett Bachelor. Brett, two points. Jim Ryan had a real nice feed there. Ball come in, and Porter, the ball taken away from him. Ryan comes up with a steal over to Bachelor. Back out to Anderson. Boys come up with a good steal there. Ryan with the ball, shoots from outside. Two points, Jim Ryan. Good shot right inside the three point line. Jim comes up with two points. Eric Schooley with hand on the ball and the ball's knocked out of bounds. Tri-City will take the ball in. The boys playing excellent defense right now. Porter with the ball, brings it down. Ball comes in to Shockley, he looks, back out to Porter. Number 20, shoots and it's good. Matt Herbster. Matt Herbster, 6'3", sophomore, Tri-City. Ball comes down, back out to Schooley. Schooley from three points and it's off the rim. Ball was up, up and in and out. <clears throat> Porter brings the ball across the line. Gerald Porter, number 32, a six-foot senior. Ball's up, and it's good. 
Number 34, Scott Smith with that shot in under the basket. Jim Ryan brings the ball in. He gets tied up, tied up, and we're going to get a traveling call. A couple of them put the squeeze on Jim Ryan then and couldn't go. We got, <clears throat> got a charging foul on Tri-City, number 14. Todd Childers gets called for charging on that foul. That play coming down the line and Providence, blue ball. Okay, Britt brings the ball in. Schooley brings the ball down. Offense sets up. Jeff Lamb with the ball, looking, looking over to Schooley. Back out to Bachelor. Oh, stolen. Ball stolen. Porter brings it down all the way. Rolls it in for two points. 12 12. We got a tie. Ryan brings the ball down. Over to Anderson. Anderson looking out beyond the three point line. Fires it in to Ryan. Ryan from outside. Two points. Jim Ryan. Good shot. Ball comes down. Boy's putting pressure on him. Gerald Porter, two men on him. Schooley on him, Anderson on him. Back out to Scott Smith, ball comes in. Matt Anderson takes the ball away, brings it down, Jim Ryan with another two points. Jim Ryan with six points here late in the first quarter. Jim, Matt Anderson steals the ball. Over to Schooley, Schooley knocked down on the play. Slam to the floor. Eric Schooley, number 10, will go to the free throw line shooting two. That foul on Matt Herbster. Matt Herbster picks up his second foul, personal foul. Tri-City already in the penalty. One and one on team fouls. Schooley with the ball up and this one's off the mark. It's not like Eric. Second shot's up and it's in. 17-12. Matt Anderson with another one. It's up and it's good. A steal, a steal by Matt Anderson. The shot. Matt picks up two points. Tri-City bringing the ball down. Providence putting tough, tough man-to-man -to -man pressure on the Crusaders. Tri-City works the ball around, brings it in underneath. Ball's up, it's off. Ball rebounded by Eric Schooley. We had uh, about four men down right underneath the basket on that rebound. Jeff Lamb with the ball goes, he pumps, he's up, and it's off, rolls across the rim. David Shockley comes up with the rebound. Gerald Porter brings the ball down. Looks for his offense. Into Scott Smith. Smith looks. Back out to Porter. Three point shot and it's off. Matt comes up with a rebound, brings the ball down. Over to Schooley. Back to Anderson. Into Jeff Lamb. Out to Matt. Britt Batchelor down underneath the basket. Now Ryan comes across. Ball into Ryan. Into Britt. Britt open for a second. Didn't take the shot. Ball's back out. Eric Schooley. Ball comes around. Back into Britt. Britt fakes and he goes, goes up and he's traveled. He travels on the shot. Boys took some time off the clock that time, leading 19-12 with eight seconds left in the first quarter. Ryan comes out. Darren Courtney checks in. Darren Courtney, a 6-1. Senior, Tri-City with the ball and it's off. As the clock runs out, Providence with a lead 19 to 12. Jack, uh, first quarter here, it seems like it takes the boys a little time to get warmed up. Uh, Mike Middleton with uh, five points and Jim Ryan with six points have been the hot shooters uh, this time. Uh, I think, uh, what do we have for uh, Tri-City on scoring? Uh, Jared Porter has five. 
Uh, Scott Smith has four, number 34, Scott Smith. Uh, Matt Herbster, number 20, has two, and David Jockley has one. Okay, so scoring spread around on Tri-City Crusaders, and I know that uh, the boys are wanting to get an impressive lead here in this second quarter, and uh, right now Mike Middleton's having to set out, Mike, with two fouls on him here in the first quarter, so uh, he's spending a little time on the bench. On the court for Providence, Eric Schooley, Matt Anderson, Jeff Lamb, Darren Courtney, and Britt Batchelor. The two starters, Mike Middleton, Jim Ryan, are sitting down right now. Ball's up. Shockley comes down with the rebound. Over to Todd Childers. Britt Batchelor with the steal. Britt Batchelor in the lane that time and picked up a steal. There was Matt Anderson dribbling behind his back. He shoots and he's short. Matt Anderson with his first one off the mark there. Ball comes in to Smith. Porter brings the ball down. Two men on him. Back over to Smith. Ball's back to Porter now. Porter being pressed by Anderson and Batchelor. Way out the corner. Across the three-point line. And it's up. And he has a good shot. Ball's in. Eric Schooley with the ball, brings it down. A crossing pattern and the ball goes out of bounds. Another turnover for Providence. That's only their second or third turnover this evening. 19-14 with seven minutes left. Britt Batchelor up with a rebound. Down to Anderson, Anderson stops, shoots. It's off, he rebounds. Foul by David Shockley. Matt Anderson will go to the line. Shooting two. David Shockley should pick up about his second foul. Shockley and Porter, the two big men for Tri-City on the court. Matt with the ball up and it's good. Matt Anderson with his third point. Second shot's up, and it's off the rim. Jeff Lamb with the rebound, and it's in. Jeff Lamb up and picked off that rebound. Off the rim, went back up for his two points. Tri-City being pressured. Ball comes down, and Jeff Lamb will pick up a foul on that shot. That's Jeff's first personal foul. Number 44, John Faison will go to the line. He'll be shooting two. His first shot's up and it's good. 23-14 Providence. His second shot's up and it's good. 22-16, I think we had a wrong score there a minute ago. 22-16, the correct score. Six minutes, 25 seconds left in this second quarter. Matt Anderson with the ball, over to Schooley. Schooley looks, he fires, it's up and it's off the rim. <clears throat> Tri-City with the rebound, they bring it down across the timeline. <clears throat> Porter with the ball, looks in, over to Smith. Smith drives the bucket, he's fouled on the shot. I believe it's gonna go against Darren Courtney, number 31. <clears throat> Jim Ryan checking back in, Eric Schooley sitting down. <clears throat> Scott Smith shooting his first shot. Ball's up, and it's good. And a second shot. It's up, and it's off the rim, and a rebound by Tri-City. Shockley comes down with this one, goes back up, and another two points. So, Tri-City comes up with three points on that possession. 
Both teams in the bonus now. Matt Anderson with the ball. Brings it in to Batchelor. Back out to Anderson. Anderson comes in. He shoots up, and it's off. In the rim and out. In and out, and Jeff Lamb picks up a foul. That'll be Jeff Lamb's second personal foul. Mike Middleton checking back in. Darren Courtney taking a seat. <laughs> David Shockley goes to the line. His first one's up and it's good. <clears throat> Second shot's up, and it's off the rim. Oh, tipped in. Tip in by number 44, John Faison. We got a tie ball game. Mike Middleton, ball, stays out beyond the three-point line. Ryan drives in, bounces it off his foot. Ball rolls, Britt Batchelor picks it up, and Batchelor goes in and is fouled. By number 14, Todd Childers. Brett Batchelor goes to the line with four points. He'll be shooting one and one. The bonus in effect right now. Ball, first one's up and it's good. Britt's second shot's up, and it's off the rim. Uh, Porter comes up with a ball, and he brings it down, down court into the corner to Childers. Back over to Porter, he's shooting from outside, three points, the ball is off the mark. Porter from, uh, with a long three-point shot. Jeff Lamb takes a seat. Pat Jones, Pat Jones goes up and ball jammed away from him. Porter comes up with the rebound. Porter took that ball away. Over to Childers, Childers from way outside, the ball's off. Matt Anderson comes up with a good rebound. Childers shot almost just right within the three point line. Anderson with the ball, he goes in, shoots over, over Shockley for, a, for two points. Anderson, Matt had a beautiful shot then over Shockley's head, over to Porter, Porter tied up, Britt. Now Childers with the ball, he goes in for an easy layup and misses a shot. Childers misses that layup, Matt Anderson. Ball taken away by Porter. Porter goes down by himself for a layup and he misses that shot. Man Anderson. Mike Middleton with a shot, two points. Mike, about three foot inside the free throw line, pumps and shoots and connects for two points. That's Mike's shot, ball down. Mike Middleton comes up with a rebound. Man Anderson brings the ball down. Across the timeline into Batchelor. Bachelor Shockley guarding. Ball back out to Anderson. And over to Ryan. Into Bachelor. Into Middleton. Middleton takes that same shot. It's good. Two points. Mike Middleton, two points. Number 34, Scott Smith tied up. Porter with the ball. Beyond inside the three-point line. He shoots. It's off. Porter trying to do it all. Matt Anderson up with... The ball comes down, Britt. Britt picked off that rebound last time. Britt, Pat Jones in underneath. Mike Middleton, he's up in, it's good. Two points. Mike Middleton with 11 points. Number 14, Todd Childers brings the ball over. Over to Porter. Into Faison from a way outside and it's off the mark. 
Middleton with the ball. Two minutes, 25 seconds left. Mike comes down. Pat Jones under the bucket. Mike Middleton looking, looking. Ball. Brent with the ball. Oh. Number 44 picks up a foul. John Faison picks up, reaching over Mike Middleton. Mike will go to the free throw line, shooting one and one. Seem like the boys have uh, gotten a little hotter here in this second quarter, Jack. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike uh, connecting for about uh, three or four in a row there. Uh, Coach Lloyd calling a timeout right now, I think, just to get the boys pumped up and make sure they don't drop, uh, drop behind. Here with about four minutes uh, left, we had a 22-22 tie. Now we've pulled ahead by nine points. At the smaller gym, it's a lot faster paced game. I've seen some real impressive passing on the fast break. I think that's what accounts for the difference in the score. Okay, Coach Loy going over with the boys, uh, how to keep the pressure on. Seems as though Je uh, Gerald Porter's been doing most of the shooting for Tri-City. I realize they've got two of their big men out, but uh, Porter's carried them, it seems like, uh, a number of games. And so they're going to him for not only the long shots, but also going into the lane. Yeah, it does seem like Gerald Porter's trying to take it all on himself, and uh, right now he's pretty cold, so I think he better start passing. Okay. Time in again, and Mike Middleton will be going to the free throw line. Mike with 11 points. Mike's first shot's up, and it's good. Mike's got that smooth delivery tonight. Second shot's up, and it's good. Daryl McCain into the game, and Middleton sets down. Daryl. Daryl back, playing back. Tri-City brings the ball down. Number 24 into the game for Tri-City. Number 24 is uh, sophomore Jeff Brown. Number 34, Scott Smith with the ball. Smith, way over, ball's over, and a, a shot from inside the three-point line, and it's good. Tri Providence with the ball. Now Tri-City putting pressure on. Schooley brings the ball down. David Shockley gets called for a foul, bumping Darrell. Darrell will go to the free throw line. David Shockley with three fouls in this second quarter. Shockley and going to have to take a seat in a minute with three fouls in the second quarter. Darrell going to the free throw line. Ball's up and it's off. Britt Batcher with the rebound. He's up and it's in. It kisses the rim, but it won't go in. Rebound, Tri-City. Jeff Brown brings the ball down. Porter on the bench right now. Number 34, Scott Smith with the ball. Comes in, ball's up. Anderson with the rebound. Over to Batchelor. Anderson brings the ball down. Jim Ryan and Darrell from way out. Rebound, Darrell McCain, he's up. Ball's knocked out of his hands. Anderson with the ball. Batchelor and McCain underneath the basket. Eric Schooley goes in. Oh, ball is up and it kisses the rim, but it won't go in. Tri-City with the rebound on that. The boys had three good chances and couldn't connect. Tri-City passes the ball around. Again, Porter on the bench. Scott Smith goes up and he gets called for traveling. Tri-City sub. John Faison, six-foot senior, comes in, and Shockley comes out with his three fouls. Now Shockley and Porter both on the bench. Ball comes in for Providence, and Anderson will bring the ball down into Batchelor. Batchelor over to Anderson. Over to Ryan. They're looking for the last shot, 20 seconds left. Ball over to Ryan, back out to Anderson. Over to Schooley. 
Darrow, crossing pattern. Bed, Britt Batchelor down underneath the basket. Okay, it's going to be Anderson. He goes up. It's off. And a call, foul call on Matt Anderson. He took the shot. Still got the foul call with six seconds left. Number 20, Matt Herbster will go to the free throw line. He'll be shooting one and one. Six seconds left in the second quarter. 33-24. Boys with a nine point lead. Herbster cuts that to eight points. And a chance to cut it further to seven points. Second shot's up, it's off. Schooley with the ball. Ryan with the shot from outside, and it kisses the rim, but it won't go in. Darrell McKean tips it in, and it bounces around the rim, and it won't go in. As the 33-25, after a real hot second quarter, they cooled off in the last couple of minutes. Foul shot on that last one. And Tri-City picks up another point. Oh, Matt Masters picked up a shot, a foul, and number 22 sinks both of them, and it cuts that lead to six points. So, as the boys go to the locker room, at the end of the first half, Providence with only a six-point lead. Well, Jack, uh, it seemed like the boys started off hot there, but they cooled down real fast. And uh, at one time there, I believe we had a 10-point lead. It's cut down to five points. I know Coach Lloyd's going to uh, settle them down. And uh, uh, what do you think he's going to be talking to him about here uh, in the locker room halftime? Um, well, that's a good question, Dwayne. Uh, well, I thought uh, in this first half, some th good things they did. They worked the ball inside real well. I, I would say... The majority of their points came from the inside because they weren't real hot from the outside. They hit a few, not too many jumpers from the outside. Most of their paint, most of their points coming from in the paint. Um, uh, I think uh, Mike's got that, uh, he's got that little jumper inside the free throw line down pat. He picked up about six fast points here a while ago. And so I look for Mike, even though I believe he has three fouls, I look for him to come back uh, strong in this uh, second half. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with you there, Dwayne. He's, he's really got the touch tonight. It uh, seems like everything's falling for him. Okay, uh, we'll be back in just a minute with a halftime show, and we're, we're going to talk to uh, Wayne Heath here. Wayne's the father of one of the varsity boys uh, on the Providence uh, team, Jody Heath. Jody's not in the game tonight. He had a little accident down in the Salem Springs tournament, and uh, so he's sitting out the game tonight. But Wayne, what's some of your comments about the first half of our game against the Crusaders tonight? Well, it's looking good right now. Uh, we got a six point lead here at halftime. Looks like we're gonna take it to them. We got them in a little bit of foul trouble and time this game's over, we're gonna chase them out of the gym. Okay, I believe that. Uh, I see there are two big men, uh, Gerald Porter and uh, David Shockley. Both of those boys got three fouls on them and they set out a little time in that first half and so, uh, we're going to look for something for our boys. Uh, Mike Middleton seemed like he had that smooth uh, jump shot down pretty good there in the in the second second quarter. So we're going to be looking for more of that. Yeah, and uh, they they just don't have the manpower to handle our superior front line, and okay. the guards are just too quick. Okay, that comment from Wayne Heath, uh, father of Jody Heath, who's not in the lineup tonight. Jody, uh, no, you're not playing, and you probably can't talk too much because uh, of the looks of your mouth. But what do you think of the boys tonight? They're doing great. Jim's hot. Mike's hot. As long as we can keep it up, we're going to kill them. Okay, that six-point lead there going in the second half looks looks pretty good. Some of the tight games we've had lately, so we're going to look for, uh, for a little uh, spread on that going into the third quarter here. Yeah, I think we can do it, too. Okay, we're going down the line now. we got four minutes left. Let's go down. Okay, here we are uh, back in the stands, and we're going to talk a little bit to Ben Bennett. Ben's been watching this game with the intensity tonight. The boys look pretty good, Ben. Yeah, they do. They've uh, had some real good spurts in there. A couple of short cold spells, but they're still up by six, so they're doing okay. Okay, they come out real hot in that second quarter, and uh, no Mike Middleton had seven points in a row there. Those 
three little jump shots in the, in the lane looked real good. So we're going to look for that in this third quarter. That's right. Mike's a great player, and uh, he came on just when they needed it. Tri-City caught up. Mike took off, and uh, the margin is because of his effort there in the second quarter. Okay. Thank you, Ben Bennett. All right. Uh, one of the board members of Providence, and uh, Steve's been uh, watching this game with intensity. What do you think of uh, just the last couple minutes of this second half, Steve? I think we've done fantastic. It's a great showing for our guys. Okay, they, they're they always a, a rival here at Tri-City. They've got a good team, and they've always had a had a fine, strong team at Tri-City, and so uh, uh, our boys are really, uh, they're always uh, out to get them, and I think after coming off a strong victory in Salem Springs this weekend, uh, they're, they, they were out for, uh, for another sweet victory, and so uh, Tri-City here with uh, some good, good points in the second half, and with only a six-point lead, we're going to look for a larger, uh, a larger expansion of the spread in this second, in this third quarter. I think that'd be great. I think that's just what we need. Good, solid victory. Okay, thanks to Steve Weinberg here enjoying the game tonight, the last, last boys game.
Little technical problem there, but I believe we're uh, connected back up again. Britt Batsler with the ball, back out to Anderson. Anderson goes into the corner. Oh, a beautiful shot! Two points, a beautiful shot by Matt Anderson. Far in the corner, high arc in the basket. Did you see that shot? I want to comment how great shot that was, sir. I'm telling you, it was good. That was one of Matt's best. Porter with the ball. Gerald Porter, their high score was 16 points, directing his offense. Herbster over to Smith. Smith with the ball. He pumps in. It's off the rim. Anderson with a good rebound. Anderson brings the ball down. Dribbles behind his back. He goes in for a shot. He's fouled before the shot. Man, Anderson picks up a foul. He doesn't pick up a foul, but he gets the foul. Not in the bonus yet. So Anderson goes, oh! Ball passed over to Darren Courtney underneath the basket, off his hands, out of bounds, Tri-City ball. Porter brings the ball down. Mike Middleton, David Shockley, David Shockley with the ball. He goes up, Mike Middleton, Mike stops him. Eric with the ball, he brings it down court. Mike saved two points there. Darren, Darren with the ball. Over to Brad Batchelor. Britt out to Anderson. Anderson drives the lane. Over to Mike Middleton, two points. Mike Middleton. Matt had a beautiful pass then. He drove the lane, looked like he was going to shoot. Come over to, to Middleton. Middleton popped it in. Oh, no, Eric Scully. Eric Scully with two points. Matt Herster was down underneath the bucket. Pressure was on him. Eric put pressure on him. The ball got away. Eric picked up the ball, dropped it in for two points. Gerald Porter back down the court for two points. Gerald took it all the way down under the bucket and up. Ball's up, and at the end of the third quarter, Providence leads 60-51. He still roll. The boys really, really got hot there in the last couple of minutes of this third quarter after a cold start. Coach Loy got him going, and Mike Middleton now has 21 points, leading with 21 points. Anderson with 12 points. Matt's had some good... Some good passes tonight, Jack. Oh, extremely, extreme, incredible passes, I might even say some of them. That last one into uh, uh, Mike Middleton. Mike, we're right underneath the basket uh, for that pop-up. So the boys really, uh, really watching for the open lane and getting that ball in there. And there's been some easy baskets, but they, they're easy because, because it makes it look easy, but it's because of the good pass that comes right before it. That's absolutely correct. And you know, there are a lot of positive things happening on the court, but Tri-City, I don't think, would even be as close as they are if we could stop the penetration of Gerald Porter. Yeah, uh, Porter's got 18 points. He's really been doing it all. He's He brings the ball down for Tri-City, sets up the offense, and in some way gets back in underneath the bucket, and uh, time and again, he goes up for that easy layup. So Porter all over the court tonight. I believe he still has three fouls on him. So uh, going into the third quarter, he's going to have to watch it. Okay, we start the fourth quarter. Tri-City brings the ball in. Porter again with the ball. Porter looking over to Herbster. Er. Porter with the ball. He feeds in number 20, my Matt Herbster. Herbster with eight points tonight. Ah, ball passed into Darren. Darren gets caught for traveling on that shot, that possession. Seven point lead. Cheryl Porter brings the ball down into Shockley. Shockley waits. Waits for the traffic to clear. Back out to Porter. Into Todd Childers. Porter with the ball now. He pumps. It's up and it's good. He's hot. Cheryl Porter with 20 points. Now I can say just like Ben Bennett 20 points. Brett Batchelor with the ball. Feeds in and the ball knocked out of bounds. Porter goes into the bench, goes into the stands, but he's okay. Matt Anderson will bring the ball in. Mike Middleton.
feeds in to Darren. Darren Kern shoots. Oh, the ball's up. It rolls across the rim, but it won't go in. Porter brings the ball down. Eric Schooley getting ready to check in. Ball back out to Porter. He, he fires. He's in. He's good. Two points. 22 points. They've got to put some something on Porter to slow him, slow him down. Gerald Porter, he's, he goes in. I believe he gets called for his fourth foul that time. Gerald Porter picks up his fourth foul. Man Anderson driving the lane. Third, third foul. Porter picks up his third foul. Anderson drove the lane that time and Porter was in there and he gets called on it. And uh, not in the bonus yet. <clears throat> so we take the ball out. Eric Schooley with the ball over to Batchelor. In Jeff Lamb. Jeff Lamb with a good turnaround jump. Jeff had a good turnaround jump that time, Jack. Well, he sure did. That was a nice, pretty shot. Okay, Tri-City with the ball out to Shockley. Now out to Porter. Porter at the top of the key. Jeff Brown with the ball. He feeds in. Oh, Schooley gets called. Schooley got a hand on him. Todd Childers gets called for the foul. They'll go into bonus now. Todd Childers, a six foot sophomore for Tri-City, goes to the free throw line. He'll be shooting two. First shot's up and it's off. Second shot's up and it's good. Childers first point tonight. Ball's over, Middleton with the ball. He goes in, oh, ball knocked out. Schooley feeds in, Lamb, Lamb, another turnaround jump shot. Jeff Lamb in underneath the bucket. He turns around, he fires, it's in. Porter down, he shoots, it's off. Matt Anderson with the ball, he gets touched by. Todd Childers comes up with a foul that time. That's Todd's second foul. Childers gets called with his fourth foul. Anderson goes to the free throw line. Anderson's first shot's up and it's good. He gets 65-58. Scott Smith coming in for Todd Childers. Childers going down with four, foul, four fouls. Anderson shots up and it's good. 66-58. Okay. Ball out to Jeff Brown, out to Porter. Providence defense sets up. Bachelor Shockley with the ball. No, oh, he's fouled before the shot on Mike Middleton. Mike's picked up possibly his fourth foul. Shockley was in the lane and he was going up. There wasn't anything Mike could do on that shot. He had to foul him. He picks up his fourth foul and he'll take a seat. Darren Courtney comes in for him. Shockley at the line. Shockley shoots. It's, it's good. 66. 59. <laughs> Second shot's up, and it's off. Britt Batchelor comes up with the rebound over to Schooley. Schooley takes his time coming across the line. The offense sets up. Courtney with the ball. Passes in to Batchelor. Batchelor in trouble. He's going to get fouled. It's called five seconds. Tri-City really put the squeeze on Britt that time. It was hard for him to get out of, out of that corner. It's called on a five second call. A turnover, Porter brings the ball down. Pass is over. Ball knocked out of bounds by Batchelor and Tri-City takes possession. They'll bring the ball in. Ball out to Porter. The offense, the offense setting up. 
Ball shot from outside. Number 24, Jeff Brown. Anderson brings the ball down, 66-61. Ball into Darren Courtney. Courtney looking, looking out to Schooley. Over to Anderson. Britt Batchelor comes across. He looks, he fires, he goes, knocked out. Ball knocked out. Britt comes up with the ball. Britt going for a shot that time, got it knocked clear out of his hand. Schooley, a beautiful, hey, Schooley, a fake. Drives in underneath and goes up for the layup, two points. Tri-City with the ball, they tie him up, they tie him up, knocked back, tucking away. Jim Ryan with the ball, comes down, Schooley. Schooley, ball knocked, knocked out, evidently touched by Tri-City. Providence takes the ball out, it's in to Ryan. Ryan tries to go up for a shot, blocked by Shockley. No foul on the play. Schooley brings a, or Porter brings the ball down. Feeds into Shockley. Shockley a turnaround, and it's in. 68-63. Five point lead. Their lead being cut. Anderson, he drives the lane, he goes up. It's in, two points for Matt Anderson. Matt brought it all the way down, got into the lane, took that shot. Ball knocked out of bounds. Anderson had a hand on it. Porter will take it out for Tri-City. Porter brings the ball in, over to Jeff Brown. Brown brings the ball in, taken away. Jim Ryan with the ball. Anderson, two points. Jim Ryan, there's that feed we talked about a while ago. Jim Ryan feeding into Matt Anderson. Beautiful, beautiful play. Almost as good as some of Matt's passes. Okay, 72-63, the boys picked up a good lead right there. Another nine point lead again. Again. Stealing the ball, watching their passes. Porter with the ball, it's up and it's good. Porter. Up again and 24 points. Gerald Porter, 24 points. Playing in his last game at Tri-City. Christian Crusaders. Ball out to Anderson. Over to Scully. Scully takes a shot, knocked. Knocked out, back out. Anderson with the ball. Ball passed and Ryan had a hand on it but the ball's out of bounds. Jeff Brown with the ball, out to Smith. Back over to Brown. Oh, taken away! And Jeff Brown fouls Eric Schooley on the play. Now's the time. 